It's another gray, windy day here in New York City to start off a new trading week. But guess what? There is some good news. It's actually after 4 o'clock, the markets are closed, and that means it's happy hour in the Big Apple. Now, U.S. stocks, they declined for a third session to start the week even pushing the S&P 500 into the red for the year as investors got rid of high-profile assets and as they looked ahead towards tomorrow's start of the first quarter earnings season. Now, the unofficial start of the quarterly earnings season begins after tomorrow's close with aluminum producer Alcoa scheduled to release earnings. And it was a very quiet session on the economic report and earnings front with nothing major on the docket. Now, after hitting record highs late last week, the Dow Jones Industrial Average dropping 1% with Pfizer leading the declines. The S&P 500 down 1.1% and the Nasdaq down 1.2% as it recorded its biggest three session drop since November 2011. And let's now take a look to see how the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the other US markets fared to start off the new trading week. Meanwhile, on the corporate front, shares of Kellogg rallying on speculation the cereal maker could be an acquisition target, and Pfizer falling after its experimental breast cancer drug yielded some positive results in a clinical trial. However, the overall survival rate was deemed insignificant by researchers. So there you have it. Kick back, relax. If you're in New York City, don't go outside and stay dry. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow morning. For ModernWallStreet.com, I'm James Sweden. Whew. I'm just from Dunford Road.